We haven't gone through a very good time lately. And one week, two weeks in football and in life can change so much so quickly. When Tom was not here, I would probably say I got just as much done, but without the hassle. Dimitri keeps <laughs> laying bombs <laughs> It's time to be the king. who I support, everyone knows I've been a Spurs season to get hold of for over 35 years. And now I'm with my friend Nick, the Arsenal season to get hold of, watching together the North London derby at the Borough, because ultimately, <laughs> Borough supersedes all. I've given up my ticket today. And I've so given up my ticket to be here, to be with you. So, and vice versa. And we've got so, the Chelsea fans in the background, but they're, yeah. they're not a threat to anybody, so we don't worry about them. They're outnumbering us. They're, they're, they're outnumbering us. to be back. <laughs> it feels like it's been years. <laughs> yes, please. I feel like a new man. Well, I've told him I'm not giving him mouth to mouth, okay? <laughs> why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'd rather die out there and die at home alone. <laughs> so, a few words, that's it. Sit in the dugout, watch the game. Who's <laughs> playing? In the dugout? <laughs> we haven't gone through a very good time lately. And one week, two weeks in football and in life, could change so much so quickly. <laughs> so I've got my alarm set below 50. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The fiance bought me a watch which uh, checks my heartbeat. You can actually program it. If it goes below a certain level, it dials an ambulance itself and they they come and find me. So and I've just clipped Vicky, you were getting a defibrillator. <laughs> Explain that. We've got a defib at the club, obviously it's mandatory, it's a community club, you've got to have it. But I was just uh, <laughs> getting it ready just <laughs> in case. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Getting it ready just in case. It's always there, but we're just making it extra nil, accessible. If it's nil nil and we score in the last minute or they score in the last minute, have it ready. <laughs> I'm Alex. I'm basically the groundsman, but it's a lot of other stuff. Bar, pitch, balls, bibs, cones, maintenance work, a bit of everything basically. Basically Tom's right hand man, but he's not gonna admit that. <laughs> I'd just come out of school, started my first apprenticeship, and um, I felt that I just had a lot of time on my hands in between doing the apprenticeship. I lived with my aunt, she didn't really want me out and about too much. Um, getting up to no good, so she basically said to Tom, get a hold of him. It's not the point, Alex. The opposition are here, they're in the dressing room already. All right, is that all you've got to say, yeah? How long are you going to be? Five, ten minutes. All right, see you then, bye. Just don't get it, does it? Just doesn't get it. You also should have said I was going to be 15, 20 minutes because he didn't stop for a week, though. <laughs> I wouldn't go much to say as he's a father figure, but he is a, a sort of very dominant male in my in my life because it's like, you can't really get away from Tom. I mean, I'm here all the time. It's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. It's like every day you're going to basically see him. You woke up then. Yeah. Why did you wake up then? Because your alarm, you never set the alarm for it? No, no I, did, I did set the alarm. So what happened? You just slept through it. That's good night yesterday. <laughs> Can you go and get the questions all sorted, please? What I told you yesterday. My punctuality has been rubbish, and Tom's just that's the main thing Tom sort of tried to mould and sort of put into me that if you don't get here on time from the beginning, you've sort of just messed up the whole day because you've sort of, you, you got to start off right before you, you carry on the day. 90% of the time he's helpful, the other 10%, I've got to believe that he was sent here to finish me off. This is what you call a baby face assassin. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Alex, how has it been for you? Like with, with no Tom around, been a bit relaxed. Quiet, peaceful. I haven't had anyone shouting at me, so it's been peaceful. I can just do my job. Yeah. Well, I have to keep finding him up and reminding him. Yeah. That's the that's the that's the difference, isn't it? Sort of. Hopefully one day he won't have to ring me and ask me. He could just do it. Use his common sense. Well, I, and, I do and use business. my common sense, but apparently it's not um, it's not good enough. Nothing's, nothing's good enough unless Tom does it himself. Well, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tom's way or the highway, basically. Yeah, exactly right. It's got to be done, isn't Can it? Can I get back to work now? Yeah. Perfection. Yeah. That's what I'm for. Is perfection. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I've learned in regards to just uh, general life skills, really. Just respect, discipline, know when to bite your tongue and not to bite your tongue. But you sort of have to build that sort of self-confidence. You just learn how to adapt with different people. I mean, obviously there's a lot of people coming in at Haringey, so you, you sort of have to build that sort of self-confidence to just go up to people, can I help you, that kind of stuff. Well, we've not got a terribly good record against teams in the lower half of the table, so... Any win would be very welcome. We seem to do best. We had a great win at uh, Bognor Regis, who were much higher at the table last week. So, but take nothing from granted today. These are my boys. <laughs> these are my boys who set me on the road. These, these two here. Here today. I've had them as teenagers here. and they've seen it all the way through and they're still coming to support. Their knees are gone, <laughs> but their heart's still here. <laughs> I used to be a goalkeeper for Haringey Borough a few years back, uh, but now I make a living as an Elvis tribute artist and an actor. It's time to be the king. I had the uh, lead role in the Western musical Jailhouse Rock. I played the part that Elvis played in the movie, performed in Memphis. I'm endorsed by Elvis's first cousin. <laughs> Nobody wanted to play here because it wasn't anything like you see now. It was just run down. And Tom was in a bit of a fix. He didn't have a goalkeeper for a few games. So he asked if I'd step in and, uh, and I did. And everyone that comes here now, they come to the, the clubhouse, they have functions here, they have events here, we're doing a fundraising evening tonight. The facilities now they have, the pitch, this was never here before. And so now it's, it's bringing the community back into the borough. It's just, it's just getting better and better all the time. Thank you very much. Well, just get around for Tom. Tom, come in, come in. Those of you that don't know, you should know, Tom wasn't very well. I mean, not mentally, we're not there, but I mean, he's still with us. As you can see, just about, he's still not too good, folks, so uh, give him a round of applause, he works so hard. Can't get very emotional sometimes. Uh, with all my bad friends, maybe I've got Elvis wishing me well now. Uh, you going for it, Tom? So, uh... So tired of working, friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a lot, lot better now. I feel like I've got all my strength and my energy back. I've had this pacemaker fitted, and um, it's going to give me a push, I think, for the remaining four weeks of the season. <laughs> game today I think the boys know it we all know it obviously Merson three points behind us in the league and um, we've had two very good games with them so far this season and uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to show them what we're made of it's all in our hands we've got eight or nine games to go we're right up there and we've got to stay there and stay true to our form to the end of the season 
back on track. Just keep believing. They win today, they're equal points with us. They draw today, they're three points with us. They lose today and we win. We're six points clear of the third spot. This is your biggest game of the season today. <laughs> Yeah. So it helps. Mentally. You just need some TLC. <laughs> Depends what kind of look I want to go for. Actually. I don't know if I want to go for the for the road man thing or Suarez. You get me? Then we go for the Suarez. 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 You're gonna need more, okay? Yes, please. I just keep falling on it. Literally, Tuesday, Thursday, every time I fall on the floor, I think I just land wrong, innit? So it's just been hurting. Thank you very much, Rich. Suarez team, thank you. <laughs> I'm a bit tight in my glutes. Just need a little bit of a stretch to be fair. <laughs> Can't stink out the changing room. Dimitri keeps <laughs> laying bombs out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, five pound lighter. Rats! Thank you! 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 I'm talking about f***ing ball watching when the play's over there, you don't know what's going on around here. That's what I'm f***ing talking about. Well, I've come back from my injury, haven't I? And um, all I can say is the pacemaker's working. I should have had a little bit more control, but it's easier said than done. come away with a point. Um, at this stage, I'm very happy with that one point. Yeah, so amazing. What happened today was, yeah? Second half was immense. From By second half, we got a bollock in at half time. Forget about who's behind us. If we do our job, we'll, we'll be all right. Management is very lonely for any manager. The only thing you got are your thoughts. It's a big day for us today. Being this one playing in too. You want to win every game, but I guess we don't like these lot and they don't really like us, so. Two things to do this, eh? Roll over and die and give it to them. I'll come out there and f***ing make a game of this game. The season's done You've got to make a game of this. F***ing embarrassing at the minute.